how to create ISO image from file and folders with Ansible, I'm going to show you a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Let's talk about the Ansible module ISO underscore create. The full name is community.general.iso underscore create, which means that it's part of a collection or module community.general maintained by the Ansible community. This module requires the extra PyCDLib Python library. You can easily install the PyCDLib Python library using PIP, the Python package installer. The purpose of the module is to generate ISO files with specified files and folders, exactly what we need. Let me summarize the main parameters of the module ISO underscore create. The required parameters are only dest underscore ISO and src underscore files. The dest underscore ISO parameter contains the generated ISO file absoluted path according the ISO 9660 standard. The src underscore files parameter contains the list of absolute paths of the source file and folders. Just it, not only. There are a few more interesting parameters that you really would like to including your Ansible playbook. You probably would like to set to for the intercharge, no, interchange underscore level parameter, because it allows you to specify which of the fourth ISO 9660 standard to support. Default is to 1. Level 1 is the most restrictive standard, but also the most standard. And level 4 is the most permissive one. With all ISO 9660 levels from 1 to 3, all the file names are restricted to uppercase letters, numbers, and underscore. File names are limited to 31 characters, directory nesting is limited to 8 levels, and path names are limited to 255 characters. Level 1 allow maximum 8 charter for names and 3 charter for extension. Joylet is a popular ISO 9660 extension in the Windows-like environment that you could enable using setting to free the Joylet parameter to allow you to support uh, file names up to 103 charters in length according to M. MK ISOFS documentation. Rockridge is another popular ISO 9660 extension in the Unix like operating system to enable up to 255 bytes long file names and uh, soft and hard links. You can enable the 1.12 specification setting accordingly the rock underscore ridge parameter. Another popular extension is the Universal Disk Format, UDF, that allows you to create, delete and change on disk just as a general purpose file system, especially for re-writable devices. You can enable the UDF specification 2.60, setting the UDF boolean accordingly. Everything clear? Yes, so let's move on to a real-life Ansible playbook to create ISO image from files and folder. I'm going to show you how to create an example.iso image from a file inside the user's home directory. Let's move on. Welcome to my editor. I'm going to show you how to create an ISO file with Ansible playbook. First of all, let's begin our YAML document with three dash and one name for a play, ISO underscore create module demo, that is going to be executed on OS, all of my inventory. On the task list, only one that is named create an ISO file. 
on the Ansible module, we specify community.general.iso underscore create. Few parameters. First of all, the list of files, src underscore files, this is mandatory and uh, in my case only one, slash home slash devops, this is the home directory of my user, and hello world.txt. Could be file or folder, of course. Second mandatory parameter is dest underscore iso, this is the output file, let me save it under slash home slash devops slash test dot io dot iso. Uh, important uh, iso 9660 parameters interchange underscore level, let me set to 4 the most uh, permissive one, and Joliet extension to 3. So this is a pretty extended. Uh, ISO 9660 file. As you can see in a few lines of code we are able to create a new ISO image with some specified file. I added only one but feel free to add as many as you need and also with folders and more complex uh, tree. But for the sake of this demo only one file will be enough. Welcome to my terminal. Now I'm in my Ansible controller and let me connect to the target node, in my case demoexample.com via ssh devops as username. Let me list the file in the current folder, there is a hello world file.txt with uh, some example text on it. And just for double check there is a not a test.iso file. This file will be created by Ansible on the, on the playbook execution. And that's pretty much it. So this is a fresh installed node with only a text file uh, in the home directory. So now let's execute together our Ansible playbook with uh, Ansible-playbook command line tool. Let me specify my inventory file with dash e parameter and the name of my playbook under file management create underscore iso. As expected we miss the python library pycdlib on demoexample.com. This is because uh, the iso file is generated on the target node so we need to install this library on the target node. So let me connect to the DevOps user, let me switch to root and install this library system-wide with pip free install pycdlib. The execution is super smooth and it takes only a few seconds to download this uh, library to the target node. Uh, let me verify using python free interpreter and try to import pycdlib. We didn't got an error so everything went smoothly. So let me disconnect from the target node and execute my Ansible playbook again. Ok, so this time I'm expecting not get any fatal error and we got a change of status, yay success! So an ISO file was successfully created on the target node. And is this module it important? I don't believe so. This module will create a new ISO file that override the previous one each execution. So let me type again the same exact Ansible playbook and we got a change status. So remind that this playbook is not it important. Ok, now let's take a look on the target node on the generated file. Ok, uh, there is a hello world txt and test.io.iso file. And let me verify the format of this file. Yes, is ISO 9660 CD-ROM file system data. Uh, we are not able to access it with a tree. And how we can verify that everything is correct inside? Well, we mount, we can specify the file system type ISO 9660 test ISO, and there is a mount point. Okay, yes. Let me save it under M. MNT VirtualBox. Oh, 
Only a hood can mount a CD-ROM file system. Ok, let me switch to sudo and the, now the file system is successfully mounted on the mount point. And there is a one file inside of it, yes, so let me cut the content and its example. So this is exactly the same file that we created before. Let's verify we mount that the last line is our ISO image. So remind you to umount the file system before leaving the, see, the target node. So, oh no. So I need to umount slash MNT VirtualBox. Here we go. And let's double check together that there is a hello world and ISO file into the home directory of a user. Yay! Great! It looks like that everything is perfect done. Good job, Ansible. Now you know how to create ISO image from files and folders with Ansible. Thank you for watching and see us on the next automation adventure with Ansible Pilot and have a great day! Yay! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun!